M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I just thought I'd put a link in with this adapter that I bought. It's a cigarette lighter, I think it's 10 amp, and it's got the connector there, and you get these two little tips that I'm gonna solder onto, onto this power lead here that's gonna go on my Vero, or my RT99 that I got for 79 pound brand new. Um, so I'm gonna solder the tips on here, and then once the tips are on, they just poke into this, into the adapter. And I just think it's that you get two and it was for like seven pound. I'll put the link in from Amazon. And really good quality, you get the extra tips. And I just thought I'll just show it you. Uh, so let's just quickly solder this together and I'll show you how it works. So just soldering wise, I always just use this, this flux. I'm gonna keep dropping it and it's nearly empty now to get a new one. Then I've got this solder here, 0.5 millimeter with flux built in, B2 it says there. I've had that for ages. And then I always keep a sponge, there's my little stand. This is the, the iron that I use, just a budget one really. Quite a nice point on it. I always go to this one, you can hear it. And I clean my iron like that, yeah? I always go to this one because it just works. And then of course I tin it, yeah? I you know get the solder and just tin the end of it. See, it's gone a bit shiny. And then my, my trick, it well, is that make sure there's a little bubble on there. Put a bit of bubble of solder on there. Uh, and it'll just, if I just do that now. Just so, get up some solder on there. If you've got a little bubble, that's gonna then join everything together. I don't really want you to see me soldering, but I've got that little grabby thing. You can get these from the pound shop, can't you? Poke it in there, open up these little spaces just a bit, poke it right in the hole, if, you, if it'll go in, it should do, with a bit of perseverance, and then just dab a bit of solder on. Now, no laughing at my soldering, but it will be solid when I've finished. So let's try it. Grab a bit of solder. I mean, my, my biggest problem isn't actually the fact that I'm a bad solderer. It's the fact that I can't see what I'm doing. I need some glasses, because so I've, I've ordered some new ones. So remember the, the little blob, once you've got the blob there, then you can just sort of add. The blob is what's spreading the heat. You've got the blob. There you are, that's gone in there now. Hold it on for a couple of seconds. I'll let it cool and then we'll see how solid it is. Looks okay. Bit hot, but look, that's solid. Yeah, that has gone on solid. And then if I get the other connector, the red one, no, the black one, no, it will just push on. You've got this plastic sheath. So you'll just push onto the connector, like so, and then you can slide it across, look. And that's it, and I bet you if you heat that up, it will shrink, or well, you can get some heat shrink and do it that way. And then we'll just do exactly the same for the other one. So let's just take this wire out. And the good thing is, we can take it off, you know, and then we just use that. And uh, like I said, I could slip some heat shrink over that. So let's just uh, put the red one in the grip. It's already tinned, otherwise I would have tinned it. Push the second one on, like so. Just about fits, just, literally just. A, we need a gap to get the heat in there. And then we'll get our little bubble that I talked about. Clean the soldering iron on my sponge. Just in the background. Put a fresh bit of bubble on. Put a fresh bit of bubble, find the gap. The bubble is what makes the heat transfer. If you haven't got your bubble, it's not gonna happen. And slid off a bit there. It might still go there. So I put the link in. It's 
Not got my bubble. No laughing at my soldering. Oh, I can't hardly really see this. It's just like a blur, to be honest. All right, I think that's got it. Let me just wipe off on the sponge. Or turn the soldering off, right, off as soon as you can. That's what I do, you don't want any accidents. Right, it should cool down. And then we'll get our red and black on and slide them over. Once it cools down. Feels solid. Get the red on there. You can squeeze that a bit, they squeeze those things. Slide that over. Get the black. And of course I can just wrap some insulation tape around as well, just to be sure. But I bet you if I just heat it, it will shrink anyway. So thanks for watching my channel. I'll put the link for the, for the adapter in the video. And no laughing at my soldering, at least I try. Every time you try, you don't get better. <laughs> now keep trying, you'll get better. Bye for now. 7-3.